not quite out oh, yet. Yeah. So see how he pulls it down. <laughs> going to be busy today. We have uh, two surgeries that we got to do, and Dr. Bailey needs to get in the surgery room too. So what's our plan? Since I came late, I'm not really up with it. Well, Zach can take a little while to fall asleep. So if we wanted to go in the spay would be quicker. So he's going to take about a half an hour, she said, so we can mm -hmm. spay and then spay and then Zach, Taylor and Keisha. Taylor and Keisha, yes. Mm -hmm. If that suits you. Sounds good to me. So we'll get ready. Yay! I'm drinking red bull. So we're just doing a radiograph on this handsome boy here. We see there's a mass right here. And we also have some osteomyelitis and we know it's in the mandible in the bottle, so bottom jaw of this guy too. So we're gonna check that out as well. We're going to try and put his head as close to that board as we can. So, yep. There you go. And then close it down. Close. Because this thing has a tendency to not be even sometimes. It's about a six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three. All right. And get the second one. Oh. Yep. Two. Sorry. 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 No, no. Perfect. All right. Now I got him. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, now I should have gloves on, technically, because I'm gonna be in the beam. Grasp anything. <laughs> Let's see, I can grasp. I feel like I'm um, Homer Simpson. All right. All right, you need him oblique. Yep, and uh, What do you got going on here, Sophie? We have put in an I.O. catheter. It's in, it's in his femur. Dr. Bailey placed the catheter. Um, she just used a 20 gauge needle. And it goes directly into the end of the femur. And that's how we're going to do fluids on him during his procedure. We can't place catheters like we do in dogs and cats. We have it all taped up. It's all taped up. So maybe this will work because I may have had too much of an angle on it. What is this kind of contraption you got going on over here? Um, this is a heating pad and we are keeping the fluids warm because reptiles have mm -hmm. got, um, they require higher temperatures. He's also sitting on a heating pad. Um, Dr. Bailey's calculating his drugs. She'll pre-med him pretty soon, but it's, it takes a while for their pre-meds to take effect uh, longer than dogs and cats. And so she'll do the surgery probably in two or three hours. Uh, we're gonna take her growth. Um, off of the side of his abdomen area. <laughs> the fun part, <laughs> drugs. <laughs> express. <laughs> the express bladder expressing. service here at the family vet. We like to express bladders here at the family vet. <laughs> in a gentle and calm fashion. I like to express not only our emotions, but also bladders. <laughs> <laughs> you like to express gratitude and also bladders. <laughs> also bladders. <laughs> Sometimes even the implants, you never do know. Yeah, you never do. Sometimes you do. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Next patient. Is he sleeping? How can you tell? <laughs> well, unfortunately, he looks like he's happily sleeping, but anytime we try to, to pinch his toes, he pulls his toes back. So he's showing us that he knows that he's not quite out yet. So see how he pulls it down. It takes a while for these guys to metabolize a little slower. Yeah, we did try to give him some propofol uh, through his IO catheter, but it just doesn't seem that he wants to go to sleep. So we're gonna try and give him a little gas and see if that helps. Can you delineate his tumor for us? So it's a large firm mass. It appears to be kind of movable, so we're really happy that it doesn't seem to be attached to the ribs or not. But it's rather large. 
And so we need to remove it and send it off to find out what it is. Mm -hmm. It's sticking out right. Nice and smooth on that side. Yeah. This guy right here. Zach is just snoozing away. We missed his surgery, unfortunately. Didn't get that on video, but uh, took his lump off. And uh, he's recovering. Doesn't look like he's moving, but he's just as happy as he can be. Every time we try to move him, he gets grumpy. He likes to be in this nice, warm, cozy bed right here under the sun, on a heating pad wrapped in his blanket. So we will go to the lab and take a look at his tumor and see what's going on there. What you got there? This is the growth that Dr. Cooper Bailey took out of Zach, who's a mm -hmm. bearded dragon. Um, it was a succube growth. I don't know. You can see it's pretty large, but we've yeah. got it in this special container. Uh, it's got formaldehyde in it. We're going to send it off to have it biopsy, so we'll know exactly what this is. Mm -hmm. um, so Zach is going to go home with some pain medication as well as some antibiotics, and we'll okay. recheck him in a couple weeks. See how he's doing. All right, so we'll go to the lab and look at the microscope because I think we have an aspirate of his nodule. We can see under the slide on the microscope, see what's going on. Yeah, so we have an aspirate of Zach's tumor here, and I don't, we'll see if we can take a look down the microscope and see what's going on here. There we are. So these big cells with a big nuclei, they're big and purple. Those are not normal blood cells. You know, they look kind of like lymphocytes, but they're bigger and uglier. And so they look like cancer cells. They don't look like, if it was an inflammatory thing, you'd see a lot of normal blood cells in here. We're seeing all these big irregular cells. So it's difficult for me to see in this picture um, what's going on in the nuclei, if there's a lot of mitotic figures or if we're, if we're cancerous or um, benign in the tumor, but uh, we'll send this off and let the pathologist examine it and see better what's going on. There's the